Hello everyone, today we will have a look at the option to create forms um, or, uh, and then record the information into SharePoint list, all happening using forms ID. Yeah. So often there will be a situation when you need to create a Microsoft form on Teams. Yeah. And when you create that and you need to record the responses into a SharePoint list, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because you can only achieve that using form ID. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how we do that. First, we're just going to create a form in Microsoft Teams. As you can see on my screen, I'm doing all that at the moment. We're just going to add some random fields on not the choice one. We will just add the text field. We'll add two, three fields in here. This is just a sample, hypothetical example kind of a thing. You can put in whatever you want to. Yeah. Just put one more in there. That's pretty much it. It is all done. We'll just get the link. Fantastic. It's working like a charm. Now, we need to create a Power Automate workflow. Yeah. And uh, when we will go to the workflow, we will add a trigger. And I'll quickly show that to you. And before you yeah, show one more thing before we create the workflow, we need to create a list where the records will be saved, yeah, where the responses will be saved. So let's just quickly create a SharePoint list from here. We will just click on open in SharePoint option from here. And from there, we will just click on home and then click on new and then add a new list. And we will just name the list. That's it. Please hit like, subscribe and share. It helps. Now, here we need to create some columns. where the responses from the form will be saved. If you remember, we created three different fields in the form, three different questions, all were text. So we will create three different fields in here as well to record those responses. Okay, it is all done. It's all done. Now we are going to go, yep, into that. And then we actually need to create a Power Automate flow. But for that matter, we are going to need the form ID. So this is you're gonna, this is how you're gonna get the form ID. Just copy the link of the form, put it into the notepad, and right after ID is equals to, you will form, you will find the ID. So we'll choose this trigger when a new response is submitted we'll just switch to the old view for a second and now here you will see that it doesn't show you the name of the form by default it is showing me some names of some other forms i have created in the past those forms were created directly by clicking on the waffle button the nine dots button on the top left and click on the form and then when you create the form those form names will show up in here but the form you have created in microsoft teams that form is not going to show up in here for that matter, you need to get the form ID. And this is how you get the form ID. You get the link of the form and then you retrieve the ID from there, like the way I did. And then you enter the form ID into the form ID thing. And then now here you're just going to add another action called get response. Now this is how it looks, get response. Now I'm just going to add the form ID over here as well. As you can see, form name is not showing up. So just going to add the custom value, copy and paste that form ID in here. And then response ID, just add, add response ID. 
and now here with uh, uh, you will get all the dynamic inputs available to you but for that first let's just quickly add the create item action and now here I'm just going to select the site my site is G1 yep and then you can see it's G1 yeah we'll again go back into there and then add the list name which is there test questions we'll, you see that it's test questions and now you can see that we have all the fields available to us which were there in the list and on the right in the get response details section we have all the fields which we have created in Microsoft Forms now whatever we are receiving we are entering it into this one that's pretty much it nothing too fancy about it it's just so simple now it's all done which can just add some information in there some random text in those fields and now just going to hit submit that's it response is submitted let's have a quick look at the form at the workflow which we have created and see where we are we'll just go back and then see oh it succeeded already so workflow ran so quickly which is all good now this is a list we'll just refresh it it might be there yes it is there the information which we added so that's about it if you like the video hit like subscribe and share hope you liked it thanks guys thanks for watching